Alrighty. Well, I bet some people who actually watch my videos, I think this seems a little unexpected. But, uh, to put it simply, <laughs> Duck with Fedora is back on Toontown for the millionth time. Uh, I think it's obvious that I made a new tune here. His name is Ice Blue Horse. These are his gags. A little underdeveloped, I know. I apologize. I need a cash bot build on. I'm in Minnie's Melody Land. Um, I'm in a pretty good mood, guys. I'm not going to lie. It's finals week. I just finished my finals. Uh, so that means college is over for me. So, I mean, not quite over. I still have a year. But, uh, for the semester. So, that is great. We are thriving. Uh, so I kind of wanted to make this video because, uh, as I said earlier, is if you guys don't watch my videos, uh, my last Toontown rewritten video specifically was over a year ago. So it's been a while since I've been on this game. Um, that was intentional. While I did quit just because I was getting bored of the game as I normally eventually do, uh, I thought maybe if I quit the game for a long enough time, uh, new content will come out, and I'll be able to try the new content and gain some re-enjoyment back into the game. So there's kind of just a few things that um, I wanted to go over, but I said before I even get started, um, let me create a new tune, and I'll go through the tune again. I'll see if the experience has changed at all in terms of tune task or gag development or anything like that, really. So... That was kind of the reasoning behind the creating a new tune. Now, I've had this tune for about two weeks now, and the first thing I'm going to comment on is, wow, the name changes have gotten really slow. So, as you can see, my name is still Ice Blue Horse. I'm 56 Laugh, and as I said earlier, I've had this tune for almost two weeks now. I find it really interesting that it's been almost two weeks, and I still, my name has not been improved. Uh, I emailed Toontown and I written support about it because I thought maybe my name was just missed in the system. They sent me an email back basically saying that uh, a lot of people have been creating new tunes lately, which, if you ask me, I think is personally a BS excuse. I don't think, I mean, you could look at the population here. There's 1,600 people, which, on average, really, there's like 2,000 people. So I, I don't believe the whole, oh... Uh, we have a ton of new tunes coming in, so it's going to take a while to sit through the names. I think, honestly, what happened is... And I had this conversation with another tune whose name is actually Ice Blue Duck because he's also a 50-some laugher like myself and is still waiting for his name to be approved. Uh, and basically what he said is he personally believes that people on Toontown Rewritten staff are actually leaving and joining Toontown Corporate Class because they are sick of the... F around itis, I guess you could say. Uh, now, while I don't 100% agree with that, uh, Toontown Rewritten has done some things in the past uh, year or so that have added more life to the game, I guess you could say. Uh, for example, I can't even show you in this tune because this tune's new, but they added something called the Tune Resistance. Now, the Tune Resistance, from what I understand it, is just an extra storyline within the game to keep tunes that are higher laughs from leaving. Uh, actually, I could probably log on to Duckly right now and show you exactly what I'm talking about. So basically, in case you guys didn't get the overview of the video, this is just going to be a Toontown Rewritten What Has Changed video. So that's exactly what we're going to do. State. Yeah. Back to the estate and then we'll talk some more. Okay, so there's this new button called the resistance rank. And from what I understand, every badge, every page is a rank up. So, for example, when I get so each time you get a, a, a stamp here, uh, you get closer to a rank up, which will move you on to the next COG headquarters. So right now I'm at Cellbite HQ because I'm rank zero. I just got the task done, which was tedious, by the way. But uh, basically each task you unlock a stamp. So I got one stamp, which basically means that 
Uh, you're supposed to get 10, so I need 9 more stamps to actually uh, rank up in the Cellbot Task Force and be able to use the Cellbot HQ Hideout, which is a new feature that Toontown Rewritten's added. Personally, I don't think it's a bad idea because it gives uh, new tune or not new tune, sorry, older tunes something to do, like a tune like Duckley, who is a 120 laugh and doesn't have much more left to do. I mean, you can see he's maxed... Uh, Cellbot, Cashbot, just hasn't done Lawbot and Bossbot yet. But, as you guys know, this game gets tedious, and that becomes extremely hard to do the more you do it, because it's just like, ugh, I just want this to be over with. But anyways, yeah, so that was one of the first things they added, was the resistance rank. Like I said, personally, not a bad idea, but it really doesn't add much gravity to the thing. I'm trying to... I don't know exactly what happens once you get all the stamps. I know you're, you're, you unlock the... Uh, the high, the cell HQ hideout, but I don't know exactly what's in the hideout. From what I'm hearing, when you do this, you actually get some cool new items, so that's neat. I don't think it's a bad idea. The next thing I wanted to talk about is the Cellbot field offices. Now, this is probably my favorite addition to uh, Toontown Rewritten. It is really hard, <laughs> really hard. Uh, I don't want to go into full detail exactly what the boss is, but it's way harder than cell than the original Cellbot Field Offices in Toontown Online, and furthermore, the rewards are actually much better, because, uh, to put it simply, let me show you exactly how the rewards work. So, there's, there's these damage remotes, and there's these healing remotes. Basically, when you do a one-star Field Office, you get the worst remote. But even the worst remote does some damage. Basically, you use the remote on a cog, and it the cog takes damage every round. Uh, for three rounds, as it says, uh, you'll see it right, or two rounds for the first star. You'll see it does two rounds of 45 damage to the cog that you use the remote on. And uh, it's pretty neat. I actually like this reward. This is probably one of my favorite things that Rewritten has added. Uh, once again, I think they took way too long in adding this, because a lot of the players have left. Um... Really, everyone on my friends list doesn't go on this game anymore. Actually, Do uh, Dahlia is the only one that actually I, I've known for almost eight years now that still goes on. She's a great friend of mine, really good person. But anyways, getting off track here. But yeah, uh, I think they missed the mark here just because they, they t took so long to develop it. And to the point where tunes like myself left and then didn't even realize they added this. And like now I came back and I was like, oh, this is really cool. But trust, these are hard. I mean, this is yet another thing they added for higher tunes that have nothing left to do in the game. These things are extremely hard. Even a one star is not a cakewalk. I mean, it takes some time. I mean, I did a two star with me and a couple buddies the other day. And even a, and a two star is especially hard too. It almost took a whole hour to finish it, but it was fun. We had a really great time. We were laughing about it. Um, it adds a really new, unique spin to the game because basically when you enter the field office, all your gags are stripped from you except for like two or three. I can't remember exactly what gags are stripped from you. I do know lure is taken from you, tune-up is taken from you, and sound is taken from you. Yeah, it's those three. So it makes the game extremely harder because most people lure and sound when they're killing cogs. So you're removing two of them and tune up to teal tune. So you're removing arguably three of the most important gags in the game, which, like I said, is sound, lure, and tune up. Those three are the toughest. Anyways, you earn those gags back eventually, though. But there's some other interesting things that they add in between the floors, like when you defeat all the cogs that make it interesting. And that has to be the best option. The uh, best. Uh, <laughs> The best uh, addition to the to the game. I really do thoroughly enjoy it. Now, let me tell you the worst thing they added to the game. Let me just uh, take you to the playground and show you exactly what's going on here. Okay. Actually, you know what? Let me turn music off. Okay. Alright, guys. Let me show you the best addition to Toontown Rewritten. There it is. They added benches, guys. We've obviously all been begging for that forever, and they finally added benches. Oh my gosh. I'm going to do a backflip. No, but <laughs> it's insane that 
I just, I, I genuinely don't know what they were thinking with this. I mean, who wanted this? You could have focused on making a new boss or finally figuring out what's going to be underneath that freaking cloud, either a new playground or headquarters, whatever it's going to be. And they decided, huh, let's take some time out of our lives to add benches into the game because obviously everybody wants to sit down on the bench and relax for a little bit. <laughs> so... Yeah, it's kind of funny. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it was the most pointless thing they've added. No one uses it. I don't. I genuinely just don't know what they were thinking with it. They really missed the mark on that one. But, yeah. They've added some other cool things, too, like Toon Sync, which is really neat. Um, where's Toon Sync? So, Toon Sync's basically you get a code and you link your Toon Headquarters uh, account with your actual Toontown Rewritten account, and it makes joining groups much faster and more efficient. That w that was really good. I really want to try this controller support. I'm actually curious how this works. I'll try that after I finish this video. But yeah, guys, I mean, that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to let you guys know about the new updates that they brought within the game. I wish I could have actually done a field office for you guys to show you guys exactly how it works. But that's a simple click of a button on YouTube to search it up, just so you can see how it works. As I said, it's not a walk in a park. It's very difficult, but the difficulty of the game actually makes it kind of fun. So uh, I'm back on this game. As you saw, I'm developing a new tune, that Ice Foo Horse I showed you guys in the very beginning of the video. Obviously, I might make a couple videos with that because, like I said, now I'm done with finals. And uh, as a co broke college student, this is really one of the only games I can play that I can still have fun and have a good time for a little bit before I get bored of it again. So, yeah. So, as I end this video, I'll probably go back on him, work on him a little bit more in terms of gag development. And, yeah. So, that's it for this video, guys. I'll see you in the next one. We're back on Toontown. Booyah.